people of Wakanda, what it up, y'all? This is Dizella, signing on with you guys and girls. So today, I just came back from seeing Black Panther, Wakanda forever. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I thoroughly, really enjoyed the story and all the aspects of the film. This is a spoiler talk. Let's talk about it and let's get to the point. And also, if this is your first time um, coming to my channel, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. More videos we post each and every other day of week or when I feel like... Uh, Posting videos at a certain time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in, and let's get to the point. Show them who we are. Oh, my brain may be over over the place, but just bear with me, stuff like that. Like I said again, spoiler talk. If you have not seen this film, please do not watch this video and just skim it over. But if you don't care, if you just want to hear me mouth off what I love, what I didn't need to be, what needs to be improved, and all that stuff, welcome to the club. All right, let's talk it and let's get to the point. All right, so Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a sequel to the Black Panther um, saga and also leading up to Black Panther's character going from Civil War, Infinity War, and also into Endgame. And what did I think about the film? I thought the film was done beautifully. I thought the film was done phenomenal. Um, I am really surprised because Chadwick Boseman's um, presence is really, really missing in this film because of what he had been through and going to cancer and everything and he passed away. But what I really respect about Chadwick Boseman throughout all the movies that he was making is that he, he was still sick during that time, but he kept going. He kept being motivated. And none of us didn't know that he was sick, that he was sick until you're watching the films lately that his body was getting skinnier and skinnier and stuff like that. But besides the point, his his presence was missing everything. And I really loved that in the beginning of the film that we had like an honorable celebration towards it. It wasn't like, the film, it wasn't like crying emotion, like, like you know, like like Lord of the Rings ending or Titanic or the Passion of Christ kind of t tears of sniffles, you know that those are tearjerker films. But um, it's like a I can describe this emotional experience as like um, it has some heartstrings and you felt it like ooh yeah that was like a someone said something deep or something someone that was heartfelt more moment that was like. That's how I described emotional moments in those films, stuff like that. Beginning of the film was a great celebration towards it. And I love the fact and idea of the beginning of the film that they were trying to solve the disease problem. Like T'Challa is, is sick and everything. You know, I'm, I'm glad that they, they slicked that out because I was wondering while going to the film, how are they going to handle Black Panther T'Challa's death? And I thought that was handled very smooth. They explained what the disease is. They just said that he was sick. And after that, she was trying to find the cure with the heart-shaped herb and yada, yada, yada. And yeah. So after she's heard news about her brother dying by Queen Ramonda, played by Angela Bassett, who done a phenomenal, fantastic job. Um, it's very hard for each and every one of these characters to move on dealing with loss. And I loved how the film deals with real-world aspects of when you really lose a special loved one um how do you go through it how do you process it in the in in in, in life and everything and i really believe that the film had to those real world core directions and everything um let's talk about the cast real quick um i am very proud of shuri Letitia wright you know in spite of what y'all think about what she was saying and going through in the set but that's the <laughs> another story for another time and everything but to say performance rise Tisha Wright holding it down as Shiri done an amazing phenomenal job because you know it's not easy you know because you, she's coming from a supportive um, character support throughout all the films and then she has to take up the mantle plate for her brother and everything and um, she has done a phenomenal job you I felt her performance was great and real and there was sometimes the aspect that all these performances you don't know if the actor is really acting, you know, if they, you know, if they really feel the, when it comes to those emotional moments, like, are they really crying as the character or are they really crying as the actor's personnel itself? Because, you know, dealing about um, Chadwick's loss and everything, but phenomenal job. I believed her Black Panther mantle um, that, that she deserved and earned and stuff like that. Um, phenomenal job. I'm talking about the, let's get, let's talk about more of the characters. Um, Queen Wamonda, Angela Bassett. <laughs> Hollywood, if you do not give this woman, I'm telling you right now, an Oscar nomination, something wrong with y'all. Something's wrong with y'all. When she was speaking into that um, courtroom case, you know, with all the 
people and the government and all the still folks and everything and try to steal the Wakanda vibranium since T King T'Challa died. She stood her ground. She stood her foot. She's like, no, you are not taking our resources. And y'all thought y'all was slick that you're gonna come into my kingdom and, and try to steal vibranium. But Okoye, which I love, and all the daughter Milaje, chop 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 chop. Love them, man. I I I just love Okoye and everything. It, 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 it just worked. Their characters just 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 work and everything. Just just their integrity. They still kept that like they did in the first film and everything and also what i um love about these characters man they 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 they're so heartfelt they're so harm heartwarming you you just love these characters you know um queen Mon, there was excellent sherry is wonderful nakia which was a surprise was wonderful and everything and baku who was the comedy relief in the film I heard in certain reviews they're saying that he wasn't in the film too much. Um, he semi sort of is in the film. I was like 50%, but when they said, when I heard reviews that he wasn't in the film much, I thought he was going to be in there 20% or 30%, but he was in there 50 or 60% in the film and everything, you know. But anywho, he held a comedy. Um, I love Winston Duke's performance and everything. He, M'Baku, M'Baku is, is the GOAT is the gold. Um, um, Akoye, I talked about Akoye. Akoye scene, when she was fighting with the um, Atlantean, I'm calling them the Atlantean people, the, I can't think of the name right now so far. Um, the Atlantean folks, Namor's folks on the bridge scene was phenomenal, man. Where we had, she was holding a spear and then she was just deflecting the fight and everything. Amazing fight scenes and amazing choreography in this. I thought the fight scenes were way more better and much more improved than the first Black Panther because he used slow motions in certain scenes and it felt like the choreography was on point. And the end battle fight scene, I thought was a little bit more better than Black Panther and Eric Killmonger's battle, you know, because it felt like two video game characters fighting, even though the visual effects were semi unfinished, but it was still a, a satisfying fight to watch in the first Black Panther, you know. But the end fight for here was was amazing. It was amazing. Not the top best, but it was still amazing. It was, it was an improvement and everything. Um, um, and I loved, Ironheart, Riri Williams, phenomenal job, and her and Sherry's interaction in the film. I would just wanted to see more of that. You know, I want them to. It, it felt like the Tony Stark and Peter Parker dynamic, which I was kind of feel for them. You know, but it was just like the girl power. You know moment and everything yeah if they 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 were cool and she really is introducing you to Riri because she's coming out for iron heart film tv show which will be on disney plus so i'm interested into the character uh when i first saw her suit the mark one suit i thought it looked at okay you know it was like yeah it's kind of you know clunky and look oh, all right now when i saw the mark two you know when she improved it of course it looked better i like the Mark two version but it's going to get better in the tv show but overall Riri really was great love the chemistry and also because my semi-issue with the phase four of Marvel was the comedy, you know? Like sometimes like in Thor, Love and Thunder, enjoy the film, cool film, but some of the comedies were just a little bit too over the top in certain comedy and in movies, um, you know, sometimes, you know, Marvel jokes, you know, but this one felt more serious. The comedy didn't feel forced. It felt like it was hit the right time. You know, it's not like forced comedy. It's just like you got that little serious chuck, like, ha ha, great line, great moment and everything. Yeah, that's, that was, it was, that was the major points that I love about the film. Um, let us talk about the villain, Namor. Namor, I love Namor. His theme song, his entrance, um, his 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 people, the Talokan people, or the Kukukan, as Mbaku was saying, um, phenomenal. Seeing his world of um, Atlantis, which is in the Marvel comics and everything, it's a different term, but they want to confuse it with DC's Aquaman. That's why they changed the name to Talokan. And what I really appreciate, um, what what the Black Panther films are doing is that they are respecting each civilizations, each nationality, and representing them in a rich, powerful, standing firm, you know, representations of this on a big screen and stuff like that. You know, because we got the blacks, you got the Mexicans in Spanish. You know, it's, it's I really love the representation of Ryan Coogler go with these nationalities but I want to say Namor man he was scary man and the wings on his feet man you know and it, it was it was cool man he was taking out how the Wakandans and everything and all that stuff and action scenes it was just brilliant he was kicking butt and everything so great so great um and also um 
all the, the um Tolkien people, the origin stories of how they did it and how they got the heart shaped herb. I feel like the heart shaped herb just didn't land into Wakanda only, but it also landed to different parts of the world. So that's a question of its own near future. Who's gonna find these vibranium stuff and how it's gonna be utilized in the future of the MCU and everything? Because the Tolokans found it and they, you know, they said they ate it and then they gave them make them to blue people. I think James Cameron from Avatar is gonna have a <laughs> competition on his own because this movie has a lot of water. Red wet ride and and Black Panther 2 and everything. But I love the representations of um Namor's people. The guy who played Namor was excellent, brilliant, performed. I, I really enjoyed it, man. Really cool. And also why I'm also here for the Black Panther is the soundtrack. I love, love the soundtrack of this film, man. Um, um just the you know the African tribe and everything. I, I, I anytime I just hear it, I just feel it in my roots, man. You get what I'm saying to each other? Yes, I do. Feel it in my roots, man. I, it's just it's just such a mm, mm moment when I hear the music soundtrack and everything. Um, yeah, the overall performance is great. Acting is great. Action scenes are much more improved. Um, and also, what surprised me in this film, as I'm thinking about it, seeing Eric Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan's character, sitting on that throne chair when Siri drank the heart-shaped herb and, um, you know, you're curious because the suspense of this movie was really great too. It had a really great suspenseful scenes and everything. So when Shiri was in her vengeance mode and everything, I don't know why I thought it was going to be Chadwick Boseman because if they did like a computer graphic Chadwick Boseman, I'm like, I was like, no, no way, no way they were they going to do that. But it turned out to be Killmonger, which I felt a little bit conflicted because she got her inspiration from a crazy cousin, but. I understand it the more I think about it because Shiri's heart was hurt of vengeance, you know, and she's and she and she's the Killmonger meant that she thought about me and everything. And knows that her gold suit is kind of similar to Killmonger's, you know, um, gold and black and everything. And 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 yeah, it has some very heavy theme topics that I that I, I really enjoyed in the film. Um, and also the shocking thing was I was not expecting what well, Queen Wamanda, Angela Bassett's character to die. When I saw that, I was like, oh man, you know, Shiri don't lost everybody. She lost her dad, her mother, her, her, her brother, man. So how is she going to cope with this? It's, it's, it's a heavy loss and every toll and everything on everybody, you know? So it's Shiri here really had to step up her A game and step up to the plate and everything. Um, think about it. I believe she's not the official queen of Wakanda because, you know, she, after she did her Black Panther thing, it feels like M'Baku's going to take over because the way how it ended it, you know, him with the River Tribe, with their Wakanda traditions, challenging her for the throne. I think their plan idea that Ryan Kluger is going to do M'Baku for in charge of Wakanda. But besides that, um, the end fight was excellent. Um, and also feeling, I, I'm just, my brain just going over the place, so y'all just bear with me. So, and also, um, Namor. The reason why the movie, I believe, which was a great two hours and some odd minutes, because you want to explore more of these characters, like Namor, explore his world, what's his emotions. Him and Killmonger have, like, similar, um, connections between he Namor kind of reminds me of that Magneto character you know the outside world you know he has no respect for him because of what they have treated him his people and all that stuff and uh yeah but after that little confliction between the Wakandans and the um Talokans you know when Akia shot the blue chick and everything and Namor's like okay you stab my back I stab yours because Namor out of water just came out of nowhere says he just wanted an alliance with the Wakandans but I understand Angela Bass's point because Killmonger came into the country and kind of almost wrecked Wakanda. So you coming out of nowhere, I understand her defense and everything, but you know, coming, you know, I don't know. I'll be conflicted too. If someone just came out of nowhere and just want to reason with me, you know, even though I had a bad experience with a previous person, maybe should you would you welcome that person in or would you just did what Queen Wakanda did? I don't know. I would understand Namor like Sherry did and just. Let's be friends, bro, you know, but in turn that way. Sometimes life be that way, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, but Namor, man, but when he when he got to the point, man, his action scenes and everything, and he got to the fight, when he struck the window in front of Queen Wimona's face and everything, and the cold-hearted, savage part, so that when he killed Angela Bassett, he said in front of Sherry's face, yes, you see your queen right there on the ground, drowned up? She's dead now, so now it's your turn to be the queen. I was like... Bro, Namor, you are mm, savage, but 
thing, bro. You know, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so Sherry got on her suit and everything. She's in for Avengers mode. She feel like getting a little kill monkey. I really love how she just dropped down and you see the Black Panther power suit just coming up and then she rises up. It just feel like an earned moment for me, in my opinion, for Sherry. You know, and then um, then afterwards, um, Mbaku and his crew, they got to the Wakandans for their family because Wakanda is... Um, T'Challa's kingdom is really messed up now. It's over flooded now. They got to take out the water bill out and um <laughs> and um they had to stay with mbaku's crib and mbaku is assisting wakanda's in a fight on a boat and ship and everything beautiful phenomenal and everything um it's a lot it's it's a lot that's going on in the film and everything but and also uh almost forgot to mention everett ross um his character it felt like um you could you could put his character in there but you really don't need it i was also surprised to see that chick that's recruiting the Thunderbolts and um, the chick with the purple hair. Um, and also surprised that she is the ex of Everett Ross. You know, I'm like, what? Yeah, you used to go out together or something like that? Everett Ross might be digging into some dark details or dark. Maybe that's why they separated and all that stuff, you know. But um, yeah, their role was cool and everything. But, you know, some part of it felt, you know, could have cut short. But, you know, it is what it is, you know, something like that. Whenever I watch the film, I accept it as it is. And it's just, you know, go with the flow. But besides that, now let's get to the third act of the film. Third act of the film, I thought was great. Um, you know, just a little nitpick. Some CGI parts were just a little, like, a little empty. But it was still a little bit better than that. Um, Eric Killmonger and Black Panther um, CGI fight and everything and everything. But, um, yeah. And also seeing Okoye and um, what's the other chick name? Can't think for a name learn these names now Chikoy and other boy had a chick the midnight angels that their suits were accurate comic book accurate i was i was glad that they introduced that you know to them because you know just seeing that in live action it was pretty dope the suits were pretty dope i really loved it and um the final fight scene between um namor and shiri was so cool from the beach fight scene and also you know it, it, you felt the conflicting power between the two because you know you're on a little bit on Namor's side and a little bit on Shiri's side you know it feel like a little personal civil war between the two nationalities you know um and also it kind of remind me um how I you know what I love about the Black Panther character and also the films himself that the character Black Panther himself shows grace towards their enemies like for example T'Challa in the first Black Panther when he stabbed his cousin Killmonger but he wanted to show him grace like you want to lock him up I don't want to kill you and all that stuff but Killmonger want to accept his fate and also Shuri she was going to Killmonger mode and about to kill Namor but I glad they didn't go to that route for killing Namor because in the comic books Namor is an important plays an important role as a mutant I'm glad they announced the name New Mutant in this film because he played an important role for the Fantastic Four and for the X-Men going on so we'll see where his character is going to go through and stuff like that but the vengeance part between them to conflicting and fighting um, was was really well done. It was really well done. It also means to show love to your enemies, forgive your enemies, and all that stuff. You know, some people may not agree with that. You know, I was on that verge like kill Namor, kill Namor, but at the end of the day, it's like Namor is going to play some part because he's he's doing his part. He wants to protect his people. And everybody want to protect their family members and everything. So it, you, you, we all can relate to that, stuff like that. But just making an alliance and peace with your enemy was pretty dope. So Namor, you know, he made his peace. He surrendered. And they all said, let's make peace and alliance with all together. I really cannot wait to see how, how it should have ended. <laughs> Is really going to do that. I know they're going to do like a simple take of it, but I really can't wait to see their their point of view of it and everything. So now the uh, Black Panther and Wakanda and Thalokan are friends now at the end of the film. And um, yeah, but the overall theme for what I got from it is that how do you deal with loss? Um, how your alliance with people? Are you going to wait, work with them, make them or break them? You know, see different parts of points of view of the world view of each of them. And yeah. It's just that moving forward with the loss of love and, and it's all about growth and maturity. That's the theme that I got from the film. Um, and before I conclude this video, what I really enjoyed and what I was not expecting, and he was in the introduction of the film, was that we get to see that a child, because Shuri said she's she moved to um, Haiti with um, Nakia, T'Challa's ex. But what was unexpected was seeing a little boy coming out and I was like, hold up, wait a minute, is that his son? And then Nakia just said, yes, that's T'Challa's son. I was like, 
oh, this is nice. So I'm like saying, so this is like a soft replacement for Chadwick, you know? And then it's, it's weird because this, it's weird interest because don't the son have the same smile as Chadwick, you know, and the same eyes as Chadwick? And, and that kid actor is phenomenal. Whoever, I gotta look up his name, but he was really phenomenal, very believable. And um, yeah, but um, now that we know that T'Challa has a son, all these Marvel characters have sons now. Hulk has a son, T'Challa has a son, Thor has an adopted daughter now. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really shocking and everything, but to get to my point, T'Challa having a son, so that means he'll be a future Black Panther because if I'm not mistaken in the complex, Black Panther does have a son. But then seeing Shuri's reactions, you know, her happy joy moments, which will also make me weld up a little bit because it gave her her peace and that she had to let her brother be moved on and everything. It felt like her, it felt like a spiritual moment. Like her brother's spirit was in the essence of, the, of T'Challa's son. You know, like I'm always there with you no matter what. And I love that T'Challa named the son after him and stuff like that. So that's telling you something in the near future, right? Yeah, but overall, love the film. Um, and when I rewatch it again, I may give it maybe an 8.9. I was wrestling to it, but I will give it a 9 out of 10. Not a perfect film, but it's my second favorite of the Phase 4 because Spider-Man No Way Home is my top favorite of the Phase 4. So this one, Black Panther 2, is my second favorite. Um, but overall, to sum it all, all up, if I hope I did, if I missed something, please load it in the comments below. But I really enjoyed the film. So to sum it all, performances, great. Excellent. A game. The form says is a five out of five for me. Story wise, I give the story either a four or a four point five of the story. You know, stuff like that. There could be some things that they could have cut from the story, like like I said, the FBI, whatever it brought, you know, all that stuff, you know. You know, it could have been a little sideline, but it is what it is. Four or four point five for the story. Visual presentation, I get a visual presentation, five out of five. Excellent to see the world building of Namor's people and all that stuff. Characters and everything. Understanding them. Um five out of five and everything. Everyone's performance is five out of five. Um so yeah, like I said, the suspense of this movie. Uh, four out of five, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's not, you know, not too scary or anything, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's just building that suspense. It's a Marvel movie, stuff like that. But I really enjoyed the world building of it. And um, yeah, if you are an average fan or average person, I believe you will enjoy the film. If you are a movie critique, I believe you might give the film maybe a B plus or whatever it is. But for me, as Honest D, Denzel B. Wren, as a Marvel fan, and I really enjoyed the first Black Panther movie, I will rate this film officially a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. That's my final score of the film and everything. Um, comparing it to the two films, which one did I enjoy, Black Panther or this one? Um, it's kind of difficult for me to decide, but I enjoy the fun aspects of the first Black Panther, the introduction of Wakanda, and the representation of what it is to be a black person in Wakanda, you know, because the reputation of my people. Um, and also, but I also enjoy the second one because it's expanding the world, the laws. It's, this one's like emotion. This one's like, I describe like Terminator 2, and Black Panther 1 is like Terminator 1. That's how I would describe that, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's my thought about it. And I love the, um montage of what he did with Chabby Bozeman. It felt like a legacy, it felt like a celebration, you know. It felt it was it felt like he left something great, you know. It's time to move on, but always will be remembered. A legacy. That's what I got from T. Charles' character. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope if I didn't miss out anything, that was my review and thoughts about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I know I don't speak too long about it and everything and stuff like that, but you know me, I just like to nerd out and stuff like that. So if I missed any certain things, comment below and please let me know. Also, if you have enjoyed my video, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. More videos are posted each and every other day and every other week. So with that being said, this is Denzel B. Wren. Sign out. With a bang. Ha ha. Yee bye. Yee bye.